So for our community conversation, I'm going to share with you a little story about someone who had a prayer, sort of one of those dream prayers. It was a mother. She had been in anxiety over her Christmas list. And she had been going over it and over it and over it again. And it was, it was not just a Christmas list of things to buy. That was sort of a side list on the list. But the, it was the list of all the things that had to get done in order for Christmas to happen. Does anyone have a list like that? I have a list like that. Has anyone started their list like that? I'll admit I've got the extension cord from the house out to the middle of the lawn. That's what I got about that far. I've got one craft wreath that I found while I was putting away the Thanksgiving wreaths and all of those decorations. I might as well take it out and put that up there. I'm not sure if it's where it goes. My wife hasn't corrected its placement. But it started. I guess the beginning of the list is there. This mother was in so much anxiety. Okay, I've got to figure out all these events we have to attend. And then there's these dinners. And I agreed to host that group from the community. And then I had, and she was in so much anxiety. And of course, when you're in that much, much anxiety, it is so hard to go to sleep. But she remembered the words of the pastor. Sometimes people do remember the words of their pastor. And she remembered the words, if you're in that great anxiety, take it to the Lord in prayer and trust in the Lord's answer. And so, she looked at her list and she bowed her head over that list and she prayed, Lord, help me to figure out this list and what I should do. And she did. She felt a little bit of a wash of, okay, this is not just on me. God's going to help me with this. And she went up and she went to bed and she fell asleep. And, and, and in her sleep, she had a dream. And she was standing, she couldn't quite make out the face of the Lord. But the Lord said, you wanted help with your list. God, you don't have to help me with my Christmas list. I only said that to, to, to relax. You asked it in prayer and I heard you. Let me help you with your list. And so she, and you know what you can do in your dreams. You can sort of just poof and things are there. And so she said, here's my list. And she presented the list. And the Lord said, this is a lot of wonderful things that you are doing through this Christmas season. I'm glad you find so much time to rejoice. She looked at her list. And even though she enjoyed baking, the amount of baking she'd assigned herself on that list, there wasn't a whole lot of room for joy in her baking. And she looked on her list, and for all the events she was attending and parties, she was going to be so busy going to them and making sure that she was there she would be exhausted at the end of all that. She says, I'm not really rejoicing in any of this. I, I, I'm just sort of doing what I have to do. Well, if you want a list of things that you have to do, said God, I'll help you put together a list of things you have to do. Let's, first of all, put lines through things you don't have to do. And she started looking at her list and she was I, I don't have to do that much baking. And I don't have to put up all the decorations. And I don't have to go to every party. Yes, there's room for quiet and peace and to enjoy the things. Now I can rejoice in the things that I am, I am doing. And then he looked and he said to, 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 the, to, to the woman in, in her dream, God said, and now that you have all of these things on your list, have you figured out what's the most important things on your list? Maybe that will help if you have to make decisions later on. Wouldn't that help you? Yes, I will put them in priority and I will write a number beside the most important things. And the most important things are, what's the most important thing at Christmas? She didn't get to that. You're getting ahead of me. <laughs> but she put out oh, family. You have to do family. And, and caring for the community. My charity, my, my charity things have to, have to happen. One and two and three. And then God said, aren't you forgetting something? In that whole list, you're missing someone's name. Oh no, she said, I, I have everyone I know that I have to give to or do things for. I have their name on my list. I have the same list from last year and the year before. And how were those Christmases, he said. Oh, they were busy and I was tired and I couldn't wait for the new year when it was all done. I said, maybe 
It's because you were missing someone on your list. And who was she missing? She was missing Jesus. Making time first and foremost for Jesus. As we come into the busyness of our, well, to end the story, she woke from the dream and she went to her list and she wrote Jesus, my Savior and Lord at the top. And everything else she got around to as she could. But she always remembered first and foremost that this was all about Jesus. That all of these things had to do with her love for Jesus. As we go about our Christmas season, and it's, it's a month away. As we go about all the celebrations and all the preparations and all the events, we need to always keep in mind, who are we doing this for? Let us do, let us celebrate, let us enjoy everything that goes on at this time of year, but do it for the love and the sake and glory of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, help us get our lists in order and help us to keep you at the top of it. You are our priority. Your love is our goal. Let us praise you, O Lord. Let all your people praise you. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen.